guys welcome back to my channel so today you are title i am doing a natural hair product battle um between four different deep conditioners i was gonna do conditioners but i decided to deep conditioners so all are actually from black owned businesses that wasn't planned it just so happens that all my deep conditioners that i do have are all black owned businesses this one is going to be the first one i have is a natural rosadio creme brulee melting moisturizer hair mask now, I used this in a video prior, and I've used it so far, like, twice already, so that's the first one that I have. And this brand specifically is for um, people who have high porosity, I mean, sorry, no, low porosity, but fine natural hair. I have high porosity, but I have fine natural hair, so, I mean, it works pretty well for me, so it wasn't no biggie. Um, Eden Body Works, I've been using this multiple occasions, but I already did a review on this, and this is the natural hair mask treatment from the their coconut shake line. And then I'm going to also be using Mayel. Now, this is the last bottle of the Mayel Babasso Mint Deep Conditioner that I have. I had a, I had purchased a, a couple of them, but this is the last one I had. So, because I wanted to stick to a deep conditioners, um, that's why I kind of opened this one to use today. But I'm really trying to get through products that are opened. This is the only one that wasn't open. And lastly, is going to be the Sahai Henna's Conditioner, which is almost done. Um, deep Conditioner, the Sahai um, Henna. So, I'm just going to go through each one. Each section, I'm going to start with this side, and I'm going to be using Eden Body Works on this side. So, so I just thought I'd do a voiceover because it would be so much easier. So, some facts about Eden. It's supposed to penetrate the hair shafts to transform dry, brittle hair through an intensely moisturizing botanical blend of coconut oil and shea butter to deliver softer, stronger hair. So, if you're a person who's not too into co coconut oil, maybe this is not a product for you. Um, some facts about this product as well, it has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no dyes, and it is cruelty free. As far as ingredients is water, coconut oil, acetyl alcohol, almost flying wax, centrum chloride, aloe vera leaf juice, and so many others that I'm not going to try to butcher. So, but yes, those are just the most of the main ingredients that Abigail can read. Hyd hydrolyzed silk, sodium PCA, citric acid, fragrance, dihydroxide acid, and benzyl alcohol. I think I said that correctly, but yeah. Alright, so Eden Body Works side, and I'm going to be using the natural Zadia on the left front side, creme brulee hair mask. Alright, so now with the natural Rosado creme brulee melting hair mask, this hair mask contains water, needle extract, glycerin, acetyl acid, alcohol, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to read the stuff that I can read. Shea oil, macadamia, ternophil seed oil. Um, hydro hydrogenated olive oil. Olive oil. There's a lot of a lot of um, ingredients, you guys. That I'm not again trying to push butcher. But this also has aloe. This seems to be a common thing in a lot of these products. Some type of aloe leaf juice, which is I find um, interesting. All right, now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna use um Maya on this side. Now, Myel, let's see here. So, Myel is a protein slash moisture replenisher, deep conditioner for dry and damaged hair to restore protein and balance for moisture and growth. And it infuses hair with protein and moisture to restore dry and damaged hair. It is derived from the Amazonian palm plant that is high in sterols and tocopherols to improve hair and scalp health. And as far as ingredients, there are so many. I'm not going to even go through so many of these. They, they have a lot. Um, but as I can see here, this PCA thing I see again. And water is the main ingredient, the first ingredient, as with all the other products. So, like I said, I tried this on multiple occasions. So, yeah. Okay, last section is going to be Sahai Hannah, which is on this side. Thank you. 
Okay, lastly, Sahai Hannah. Now, Sahai Hannah, I had to go find it on their website. I know I had the pamphlet, but long story short, um, Sahai Hannah, the ingredients is aqua, what, like water, um, citral acetyl alcohol, sorry, citrium bromide, sterile alcohol, aloe, bear juice again, um, glycerin, hydro. Hyalur- Hydrolyzed soy protein, argan, spon- argan oil pretty much, avocado oil, rose hip seed oil, sandalwood oil, lemongrass oil, grapefruit oil, rosemary oil, neralia oil. I'm going to be rating it on different things. First thing being on the smell, hands down, the I have to give it to Sahai Henna. Uh, this smells so good. It has so many like great smelling oils. It's actually not on the label. Or I would have to go list it on the side as I'm applying it. The next thing I want to go through is consistency in terms of like slip. Honestly, I could put it between Mayel and Sahai Henna's, but I think I'm gonna give it to Mayel just because the slip is a little, a little, just a little better. But they both have good slips, so I could feel like they could be a tie, honestly. But yeah, these two. Price. Now, for price ranges, I have to look at it. It's coming in multiple sizes. So, the first one, I guess, I'll go with. But I'm going to go with the size of the product that I have. So, this, actually, this creme brulee for the natural rosario actually comes in multiple sizes. In four different sizes, to be exact. I got the 8 ounce. The 8 ounce is $17.99. Now, I will say this. I personally didn't purchase this. The brand actually sent them to my way. But it's worth trying I'm sure they have sales at some point, but yeah, so this is actually, I think this is the highly priced one, but we'll see. Sahai Henna, I think is the heaviest one. So the thing with Sahai Henna, they package your stuff in bundles. It's never in, um, like, for example, they don't sell it separately, if that makes sense. So if you get a bundle of two of these, it's $27. If you get a bundle of three of these is 37 now I didn't so if you're wondering like how did I get this I actually got this in a different bundle with the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner so that's why I got a different bundle which was a different cost if that makes sense but if you just wanted to try just the conditioner it comes in bundles either in the bottle of two or three so this is actually so let's backtrack so so hi Hannah is definitely the high um higher price brand out of all these black owned businesses the next is definitely going to be, I know Mayel is not that much expensive. Next is Natural Rosario at $17.99 for this 8 ounce. And I forgot to mention the Sahai Henna's, the ounce is, let's see, 5.07 fluid ounces. So this one is a little smaller and it's the most expensive one. So, I mean, but I do like the product. Like I said, I purchased, the first time the brand actually gave it to me for to for free but the second time around i actually purchased it this one is the one i purchased on with my own coin so because i want to support them again so the next one definitely is my organics i know that for sure and my organics retails at 13.99 now i personally didn't get this up for the 13.99 because when i purchased from my i went like it was two years ago i believe i was purchased from the black friday sale so i only got it for i think five dollars but if you were to buy it not during sale time, it's $13.99 for the, the Babasu Mint Conditioner. Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. And lastly, the affordable one is Eden Body Works. For affordability, if you're a person who doesn't want to spend too much coin, I suggest trying Eden Body Works. Now, I haven't tried any of their other lines. I know that they have other lines. In the future, as I get through more of my products, because I just have way too many products, I definitely like to try a different line that I feel like I've hear, heard other people talk about, like a nine that I hear more people talk about. But from the Coconut Shea one, yes, I checked the price, and it's actually nine twenty five dollars for this. And this is actually the biggest size, so I think that's very interesting. So the biggest size product is the cheapest product, and the smaller size product was the most expensive product um, as I went through it, which was I didn't really plan on that. It was just so happened that it happened to be. So, this is a 16 ounce jar. Not bad. You get your money's worth for $9.25. That's actually really good. This So, this side I did, it was Eden for this side. I'm trying to remember to, to tell you guys. Eden was on Eden Body Works is on this side. Natural Rosario, this side. This side I did my own. And this side I did Sahai Hannah. I have good memory. Okay. So, those are the three brands. So, I will come back after and we're going to, and I'm going to tell you which side feels the softest.
which product gave me the nice soft feel um so yeah stay tuned all right you guys so let's get into it i'm gonna count down and you have 10 seconds to guess i'll probably put a tick tick down. you have 10 seconds to guess which deep conditioner you think gave me the softest feel of, does that make sense which deep conditioner made my hair feel the softest Softest after rinsing out my hair? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The winner was Eden. For one, it was the cheapest product out of all the deep conditioners that I've tried. That was number one. Number two, it was also good in terms of softness so that was the other thing and another bonus part that i liked about this one not only was it affordable but it was the biggest ounce while always also being the affordable most affordable out of all of them this is the 16 ounce not in comparison to all these other conditioners as you guys can see like this is the biggest look at that so and i saw i find it like i said so interesting like the smallest one was actually the most expensive brand so these are all of the conditioners together you guys Trying to not drop this. Can I make it? So, as far as affordability and all that stuff. Okay, so Maya should be on the bottom, on top of Eden. Is that correct? Yeah, Maya should be on top of Eden and then it should be the other way around. But you guys get the gist. So, as you guys can see, size-wise, Eden is the biggest. Hope you guys enjoyed this natural herbal battle. If you would like to see another one, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know that in the comments below so that I can do another one. I haven't done a battle in a while. Comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Next subscribe button because that is how you're notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one.